The Connection today is producer Stanley Kramer, the film is member of the wedding. Before he was making message pictures, Stanley Kramer was bringing Broadway plays to the screen. In this case, he brought the cast and captured something truly marvelous. Julie Harris plays a teenage tomboy who is an outcast among her peers, but feels a special connection to her older brother, played by Arthur Franz. Franz announces that he's going to be married, and this puts Harris's world in disarray. She has an unfounded claim that she is going to accompany her brother on his honeymoon, and in preparation, spends most of her time with her housekeeper, played by Ethel Waters, and her younger neighbor, played by Brandon DeWild. That's the best way I can describe the plot without giving away anything. Like I said before, Kramer brought over the cast from the Broadway play, and man was that a great idea. He recreated something beautiful. This cast feels like they've known each other for their entire lives. They laugh, cry, and pester each other, and ah, it just feels so genuine. It's great to know that this film was made and captured such great performances in the camera to show generations to come. There is not a single weak actor in this ensemble. I will say, Julie Harris used to annoy me. I used to think that she was a whiny ungrateful bitch, but now that I'm older, I understand why she acts the way she does. Harris and DeWild have plenty of chemistry, and it's easy to see why they're friends even though they get on each other's nerves a lot. If I had to choose a favorite performance, I'd have to go with Ethel Waters. Waters does an amazing job as the mother figure in both these children's lives. She's fun-loving, kind, but strict when she needs to be. My favorite part is when Ethel Waters is lamenting about her husband's death. The raw emotion in her face is shot beautifully in close-up, and the tears streaming down her face demonstrate the magnitude of heartbreak she felt during his final moments. It doesn't feel like a scripted speech. It feels like an actual memory being retold on screen. It feels like we're being transported back into this point in her life and feel the same pain she feels. When I think of great acting, I think of this scene. I can easily say that Ethel Waters gives her greatest performance of all time in this film, and this scene is the highlight. Every time I watch this film, this scene is just as powerful as the first time I saw it. It's unbelievable. And I think it's a crime that Miss Waters didn't get more opportunities to act in films because this is truly one of the greatest performances of all time. Fred Zinnemann's direction is superb. Zinnemann had just made High Noon, so he was at the top of his game. His carefully chosen shots and camera movements enhance the world and makes it seem bigger on such a low budget. I admire his striking use of close-ups on actors because when we watch a play, we get to see the entire set, but we aren't allowed to be up and close and personal with the actors. Zinnemann understands that and gives us what we can't get in a play. He allows us to have that emotional connection through use of close Close-ups. Even though this was a hit on Broadway, it flopped at the box office, as well did five other films Kramer adapted from the Broadway stage. To me, it's a shame, because this is a must-see film. There are so many good things that I haven't even mentioned yet. All you can do is go see it, especially so you can see a little piece of history captured on celluloid forever.